Opening round of the Honda Classic to kick off the Florida swing. Toughest opening round of the year. Scoring average nearly two and a half strokes over par in blustery conditions. No issues, however, for Alex Chaka at 17 with an eight iron from 177. How about that? Ace. Chaka. Perfection at the bear trap. Shot 71 by day's end. Rory McIlroy. Hot and cold record through the years. He is a past champion, also with Drew a few years back. That was a birdie at 12 for Rory. Got him back to even par. Phil Mickelson played in the morning. It was actually windier for the guys in the morning wave. So Phil's 69 was a pretty sturdy opening round effort. Sergio Garcia, second hole of the day. From 148 at the second, eight iron into the breeze. Tell you what. Superb shot making was on display from Garcia and company. And he quickly got to two under par. Ricky Fowler, second at the eighth from 133. Boy, looks really good, swinging it beautifully and shaking off the ill effects of not winning in Scottsdale a few weeks ago. Garcia, birdie putt at eight. If that club is cooperating, watch out this week. That got him to four under par. Fowler at the 10th. His fourth shot, it's the last one he'd need. So Garcia and Fowler both holding out as part of uh, one of the featured groups. PJ Tour Live had it, in fact. Michael Thompson birdied the ninth as he made the turn. He won this event a couple of years ago. Would sign for 65 by day's end. William McGirt, a 66. This was the last birdie for McGirt on the day, came at the 17th. A couple of runner-up finishes in his career, well positioned after 18 holes. Here's Ricky at 18. Par five, a little bit of a breather after that devastating three-hole stretch of the bear trap. From 220, just smoked a long iron in there. He would two putt for birdie to finish at four under with a round of 66. Ricky's one off the lead, shared by Michael Thompson and Sergio Garcia. This was for an eagle at 18. Didn't hold it, but did the necessary work. And Sergio would stroll up there and tap that one in for a birdie. It was a nice bounce back performance after a surprising missed cut at Riviera last week where he's had a very good record through the years. This was more like the Sergio we have been accustomed to seeing on tough courses. He shares the lead as Friday's second round begins. There's your air times. Get up bright and early with the PGA Tour Live Gang at 7 Eastern.